Flesh and blood does the body good. <laughs> Don't worry, we're still talking about beer here, all right? What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Beer vs. Bureau. So today we're going to be doing a beer by Dogfish Head. It's a brewery based out in Milton, Delaware. And I know what you guys are thinking. Finally, he's doing something outside of California for once in his life. But, you know, it's not always about location, location, location. Here at BBB, it's all about taste, 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 no matter what the location is. So, we're going to be doing the Flesh and Blood IPA. <clears throat> it's a blood orange and lemon infused IPA at 7.2% alcohol by volume. So, let's do it. Flesh and Blood IPA by Dogfish Head is what happens when you mix fresh citrus juice with an already vibrant citrusy and resinous India Pale Ale recipe. It's rated at 7.5% alcohol by volume, and as the name implies, you get a hefty taste of blood orange flavor that's neither too sweet nor too bitter. If you're a fan of San Pellegrino, you might just like this. So while I tried to make a head out of this pouring from a 12 ounce can to a 16 ounce glass, it's actually kind of difficult. And looking at the head I already have here, it's not, not a whole lot of streaking going on. And it's dissipating fast, but it's not very much. But who cares about that, right? It's got a nice little amber color, most likely from the um, blood orange that's in the mix. And the aroma's jumping out. It wants to get in my mouth, but we're gonna do it right, take it slow, and do the smell taste first. It's well hopped, but it's actually dry hopped, which is not something I actually expected. I was expecting some fresh hops in here, but you know, whatever, we'll, we'll roll with it. Yeah, it's definitely dry hop. A little disappointing because I was expecting some fresh, actual fresh hops, but yeah. On the tip of the tongue, you've got hops in the middle. Uh, you got the blood orange, lemon rind. Oh, actually, I think it's lemon flesh and then orange peel rinds and blood orange juice. And then on the back end, it's bitter, but the malts actually come in as well. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's smooth, but it just feels right, if you know what I mean, if that makes any sense. So, artwork time. You got orange peel zests all over the place, you got hops all over the place, you've got um, lemon rinds, orange peel rinds, or blood orange rinds, I should say. And, uh, you yeah, know, it's nothing crazy over the top, you know, nothing um, mind blowing. It's, it's, it's simple advertising. As you can see, it's kind of sunny outside, and this is ceramic so uh, as you can imagine it's actually warming my beer up very rapidly probably should start doing you know um, reviews with a coaster underneath my beer but this is gonna be quick I swear you know what would go really great with this some pasta salad some or just summertime food not necessarily barbecue like I, I want to say barbecue ch chicken only because we're now entering the summertime but just like ch fresh chicken, period. Like I, I think this goes very well with that. On top of that, I would say uh, potato salad. I don't know, just some summertime food. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. So I'm probably gonna deem this another summertime beer. And yeah, I am because it's it it fits. <laughs> What's that? That makes the Stone Ripper, the Wolf Pop by uh, Golden Road, and then this one. And I know what you're thinking next. What do I choose? I say get all three of them. If you're gonna throw a pool party or some kind of barbecue or any kind of summertime party, just get all three. And at 7.2%, I mean, there's nothing left to be desired, all right? Like, no one's gonna come to your party if you have this tasty concoction and say, gosh, I wish I had a bigger buzz. Well guys, if you like this review, make sure you push the like and subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your other friends, tell your other family. Because I know you guys have people that enjoy beer. Push it, like it, and I'll see you the next time.